They soon find a shell on the wall. Then looking to the right, the 9th and 10th soldiers had the numbers 3 and 9 on them instead. But the letter said 4 and 2, which obviously didn't match. Billy immediately realized that these numbers might be used to confuse him. Because these numbers are visible to the naked eye, the answer should be the invisible numbers only. And there are many invisible numbers. For example, the values of temperature and humidity, the values of length and width. Thinking about it, Billy had a bold idea. If each soldier represented a number, the shell was more like a decimal point in the lower left corner. He had everyone spread their arms with their backs against the wall. Then record the height of each man separately. Because the length of a man's unfolded arms is almost equal to his height. After calculation, Billy came up with the length of the room and 14.14 very close. So this is a square room with sides 10 times the length of the root number 2. And the approximate value of the root number 2 is 1.41421356. This is the hidden number. If the large black ball represents the decimal point, it is to count the ninth and 10th digit to the right of the decimal point. The crowd immediately understood, but they only remember the first eight digits. The latter numbers were unknown even to Billy. As soon as the crowd heard it, they immediately hung their heads again. Just then a miserable scream rang out. A player was hit by a spear sticking out. At the same time, the surrounding walls were revealing spears. As time dwindled, they gradually closed in on them. Everyone immediately became frightened. Billy was very calm and he told everyone. The last two numbers could be calculated by a formula, but the method is more complicated, meet all together to calculate, and compare the results with their own one by one, so that there will be no mistakes. Billy explained the calculation formula in detail. And this formula is exactly the dichotomy method. After some calculations, Billy figured out that the ninth number was 2. But at this point, a few people questioned it. They thought it was a waste of time. Five people immediately broke away from the group. The rest also started to question. This was bad, and the next calculation was even more complicated. But the team had a crisis of confidence. That's when Adam also stood up and questioned Billy. To verify whether this algorithm is correct, he took out a pen and calculated it himself. The result was exactly the same as Billy's answer. With Adam's affirmation, the rest of the team began to put their minds at ease. Following Billy's logic, they began to calculate the 10th digit. What Adam just did was actually helping Billy to stabilize the people. On the other hand, the five people who objected thought the numbers were 3 and 9. Because on the wall, the 9th and 10th soldiers had 3 and 9 on their chests. They immediately wanted to enter the answer. Adam stepped in to stop it, and stood firmly on Billy's side. Billy also lived up to the expectations and figured out that the 10th number was 3. But when Billy entered the 2 and 3, the answer was wrong. As the spear advanced, 5 other people came over and encouraged the others to join in against Billy. Billy got down on his knees and asked for Everyone is losing patience. They had to enter the 3 and 9 inches. And Billy looked puzzled, his own thinking could not be wrong. That's when Charles came up to him and he slapped Billy in the face. Charles said, if you don't answer the question, who else is capable of answering it? The five of them fought to protect the answer board and buy time for Billy. Billy regained his composure. He searched for the clues the witch had given him. He suddenly realized that he had only focused on the ninth and 10th digits. He remembered that there was an 11th digit after that. Did he still have to calculate the 11th digit? It was simply too late. The group had gone completely crazy. Billy was almost hit by a spear. At that moment, a player's glasses fell over. Through the mirror reflection, Billy immediately understood that rounding was needed. The answer was 2 and 4 if the 11th digit was greater than 5. If it was less than 5, then it was 2 and 3. 2 and 3 were wrong, which meant that the 11th digit was greater than 5. Then the answer must be 2 and 4. Billy entered 2 and 4 in at the last minute. And sure enough, this time it was correct. The spear returned to its original position and the statue of the witch broke. But apparently the game wasn't over yet. The entire chamber suddenly became dim. The countdown restarted, and surprisingly there were only three minutes. And all the soldiers on the surrounding walls disappeared. There were only countless blackened holes in the walls. Inside were arrows poised to be fired. In other words, the secret room would be filled with arrows in three minutes. At this time the letter of the witch came again. It says, since the answer is 24, what is the connection between this number and the 21 people here? If you know the answer, you can win. By this time, Cole had placed the witch's iron plate in front of his body to ward off arrows. But this method has a lot of gaps, it is not useful at all. Billy found a lot of connected grooves on the ground, he immediately picked up a pin to calculate up. In a short time, a perfect defense map appeared. It turned out that 21 people needed to connect 24 wooden boards to resist arrows. They acted quickly. At the last second they finished the splicing.
The game was finally over and everyone was not eliminated. Each person could get a circle. Billy finally had three rings. But then the horn sounded, and Anthony had already won the last ring in another game. With four rings in his hand, he was already the winner of the game. He could become the heir of the group. But things are not that simple. For rings. Liza even had an excited face. Obviously, Anthony becoming the heir of the group is what she wants to see the most. But Big Boss didn't think so. He wanted Anthony and Billy to have another duel. Liza wanted to stop it, but Anthony agreed. So they temporarily changed the rules and extended the game time by 20 minutes. As long as you get four rings within this time, you can have a final duel with Anthony. As soon as the news came out, the players immediately went looking for a new game. Anthony found Billy and confessed his plan. If he gets a billion, he will have the startup money to launch a cyber attack. He wants to defeat Big Boss through the network, then build a new kingdom and reorder the world. Billy thinks Anthony is too young to do this. But Anthony grew up in the slums and has long cared nothing for life or death. Billy instantly understood what he should do. That is to get the circle and stop Anthony. They came to a game site called the Disappearing Circle. But the place was already full of people. Cole said must not choose this game. Because this game looks simple, but so far no one can complete. The original and Billy to participate in the big iron anchor game, he came alone to play this game. There are many rooms here, and players will be randomly brought to a room. Need to find the small circle hidden in the room within 3 minutes. There are a total of 3 small rings, find a few to exchange for a few large rings. Billy immediately decided he wanted to play this low risk, high reward game. But he didn't stand in line. He asked his friends to find those who had played the game to collect some useful information. But the result was a surprise to them. Most of the players said they hadn't found the circle. One player said that it seemed someone had found it. Time passed quickly, only 5 minutes left. By the time Billy returned, there were only 2 people left in line. It turned out that Billy had already known. As time dwindled, the people behind him would abandon the line one by one to find a new game. At this point Billy took out 2 rings. He and the next person to play the game exchanged the opportunity to play the game. This player had 4 rings at once. He immediately went to play the final game with Anthony. Billy was brought into a room. The place was full of garbage, trying to find 3 rings in 3 minutes. It was like looking for a needle in a haystack. The security guard introduced the rules of the game, exactly as Cole had said. Just a moment after the security guard closed the door, Billy blocked the door with his foot. It turned out that someone had found the news of the rings. It was the security guard who deliberately set it out. The security guard said, Then you mean to suspect me of faking? Billy said, This room does exist in the three rings. Only the moment the security guard left, the rings also disappeared. He squatted down and unscrewed the door handle. Sure enough, the rings were all inside the doorknob. Billy also gathered all four rings. He immediately went to the final venue. The place was already crowded with people. And Anthony had eliminated exactly one player. The final between the two geniuses was officially played. So who will you support? This game is called Great Destruction. Participants must be players with four circles. The referee begins to introduce the rules of the game. In front of the player there are four wooden boxes. Players have to put the four rings they have into them. As long as the opponent hit the ring with a hammer, it is considered a victory. Of course, the box is certainly not able to withstand a blow from the hammer. So players additionally have 8 protective shields. Protective shields can be placed inside the wooden box to protect the rings. From the opponent's point of view, it is not possible to see which box has a protective shield inside. Each shield can only be used once. The game has 3 rounds, both sides take turns attacking and defending. As long as smashing the other side of a circle is victory. So the key to this game is, how to use the protective shield to defend their own circle and be able to identify the other side of the box without a protective shield, smashing with a hammer on it. The first round starts with Anthony's attack, he is put on a black eye patch. Billy mentally analyzed that there were four boxes, and there are only eight protective shields. If all the boxes are protected each time, then the protective shield will be used up in two rounds. But if not protected, Anthony just hit one, then he immediately lost the game. In order to reduce the risk and more to see Anthony's attacking habits, Billy put all four boxes into the protective shield in the first round. But no one expected that Anthony would choose not to attack. Anthony said, you put shields inside all four of them. There is no point for me to attack. Billy froze, he couldn't believe it. His thoughts were completely seen through. There was not even a chance to observe the opponent's attacking habits. Billy just wasted four protective shields. It was Billy's turn to attack in the next round. After he took off his blindfold, Anthony said instead, I only put one shield. As long as you hit the remaining three, you win. What does this mean? Did he want to interrupt his judgment with those words? He raised his hammer. In this instant, Anthony glanced to the left. Is there no protective cover in the leftmost box? Billy smashed the box to the right again. At this point Anthony let out a long breath. Could there be a protective cover inside this box? Billy again changed direction and smashed directly to the leftmost box. As a result, 
he just smashed into the only box with a protective cover. This man was so terrible that he used only his eyes to achieve victory. Billy originally wanted to use his change of expression to attack. He didn't expect to be tricked by him instead. Now Anthony had seven shields left. Billy, however, only had four protective shields. This is an overwhelming difference in numbers. In the end, will Billy be able to fight back to win? Next to Anthony offense. Billy only had four shields left. He can't put them all in. At least one shield had to be left for the third round. So this round, Billy put in three shields. After Anthony took off his blindfold, Billy asked Anthony why he could tell that he used four shields in the first round. Anthony said it was because there was no look of panic in Billy's eyes. It was the look of fearlessness. So it was the eyes that betrayed him. He tried to calm his mind, but Anthony had already predicted his next step. Anthony said, I guess you only have one box is no shields. This time you use three shields. That leaves you with one shield. I have seven shields left. Even if you win this round, you still have no chance of winning the next round. Billy was in a desperate situation. That's when he changed his strategy. He tried to interfere with Anthony with words. You always say you want to change the world, but look at all the people around you. It's all flatterers. You have surrounded yourself with so many people. It's just to make you feel more secure. You don't trust them at all. Anthony was hit by a sore point. He was so angry that he picked up the hammer and smashed it. It hit the box with the shield. Billy succeeded in defense this time, and now it was his turn to attack. Anthony said directly, this round you do not want to try me. Because he used four shields, Billy also can only casually smash down. Sure enough all four boxes had shields. By the last round, Billy only had one shield left. At this point he said, in fact, you are the same as ordinary people. Bear the unfairness of the world. Those who are rich can do whatever they want, while the poor are afraid of the whole day. People who come here are desperate to get wealth. But this journey has lost many partners. Which is more important, money or life? Of course life is important. People cannot be slaves to money. These heartfelt words infected everyone present. They chanted Billy's name. No one cared about where the shield was anymore. They just want to follow Billy to change the world together. Anthony was also affected, hitting the only box with a shield. It was Billy's turn to attack. Anthony had three more shields. What's even more desperate is this. Liza also gave him a cheat box. This box was a trap, and Billy could clearly see the shields inside. As Billy wondered, Anthony said, this box does not have a shield. But in his opinion, there is clearly a shield inside. So what exactly is his intention? At this point Billy suddenly woke up. He berated himself for always hesitating. Every time he had asked Anthony to trust himself, but when had he ever trusted Anthony? He picked up the hammer and smashed it directly into the box. Sure enough, he smashed it right. At this point Anthony also showed a smile. As if he was relieved. Review the whole process again. Anthony never cheated Billy. Billy certainly did not disappoint him. With Anthony's departure, the game seemed to be over. Billy came to the front of the big boss. The old man was very happy. He wanted Billy to call him dad and also wanted him to hurry up and kneel down to accept his brainwashing. Billy refused outright. Instead, the old man said that Billy had not experienced the power of money. He is convinced that Billy will definitely become the next him after having a huge amount of money. Because men who have money will become bad. That's when the old man had a heart attack. Sally was so scared that the old man could not die now. If he dies, everything he owns will go to Billy. This is the last thing that Sally wants to see. Just as Billy is celebrating his victory, Sally reappears. She wants to have a final showdown with Billy. The stakes are the position of the group's heir. But Billy doesn't have to accept the challenge at all. Sally doesn't panic at all. Immediately after a person in a wheelchair was pushed out. And this person, it seems, is the reason that Billy had to accept the challenge. So who is this person in the end? The final duel was a wants to fight a duel with Billy. The stakes are the position of the group's heir. She also brought out a young man in a wheelchair. This young man said hello to Billy. Billy looked nervous. So who is this man? It turns out that four years ago, Billy was a graduate student in school. It was here that he met Joe. Billy's dream was to become a physicist. Joe just wanted to be a photographer. The two of them had similar interests. Gradually became a good friend who could talk to each other. But one night, Joe and a girl ran into the woods. Accidentally both of them were in danger. Billy rushed to the scene. In the spirit of the idea of ladies first, he first carried the unconscious girl to the hospital. When he came back, Joe had disappeared. This made Billy feel doubly sorry for himself. It was his fault that his best friend had lost her life. That's why he fought to protect his friends around him in the game. Billy sat alone on the bench to think. Joe came to his side and looked at Billy who blamed himself deeply. Joe opened his heart to him. It turns out that Joe was rescued by the group. The news had been blocked by them as well. And Liza is his own sister. Because Liza knows that Billy did not save her brother. She hated Billy to the bone. That's why she targeted Billy at every turn in the game. Joe has actually forgiven him long ago. 
also hoped that Billy in the game, not because of their own reasons, and lost the game. At this moment, they became good friends again. The next day, the last game started. In the company of their friends, they entered the venue. Will they become billionaires or have nothing? All will come to a result today. The game is called Day and Night. 52 cards are divided between the two sides of the game according to their suits. One side has spades and clubs for night. Day is when one side has hearts and diamonds. The game has three rounds. The players need to make five sets of cards in their hands to compare the size. 26 cards can make a total of seven sets of cards. In order of size, royal flush, straight flush, flush, straight, two pair, one pair, high card, and each type of card can only appear once per turn. After the cards are decided, the card needs to be covered. The player who draws the first attack gets to attack twice first. Then the opponent attacks twice. The third time, both players play their cards together. If both players have the same size cards, the attacking player wins. Each win accumulates the largest number of points in the deck. Note that, A is not the smallest but the largest. At the end of three rounds, the player with the most points wins. If there is a tie at the end of the round, the winner will be determined by a draw. The most important thing is the darts. The number of darts thrown in the second round is two. The third round is three times. The number of darts hit. The opposing player must reveal the corresponding card. Use this to determine your opponent's card type. The first round was attacked by Liza. After both players set up their playing cards, Liza starts throwing darts. She hits the ace and king with her darts. Billy hadn't played darts at all. The first time he threw straight at the wall. The second time he threw an eight. Looking at the cards Billy had turned over, Liza burst out laughing. It was easy to guess the card type. Ace and K. This was clearly a royal flush. Liza took out her own royal flush and attacked. Because it was the attacker, she got 14 points. The remaining flush is also seen through at a glance. Lisa again scored 14 points. Next is Billy's attack. His highest hand is a straight flush. Need to find the opponent's flush attack. But the opponent's card only revealed two eights. The other two decks are not visible at all. 50% chance. But it is a pity that he was unlucky and chose two pairs of the other side. Next Billy had no choice. You could only attack Lisa's two pairs with two pairs. Two rounds later, Billy scored 22. The third round is played at the same time. Lisa's straight flush easily won 13 points. The first round is over. Lisa leads 41 to 22. Liza was smug and felt she had one. But then Big Boss woke up. Because Liza took the liberty. He asked his men to tell her secretly. If you lose this game, let your brother disappear. This will allow Billy to lose a friend, but also to punish Liza. And this matter must not let Billy know. Once she heard this, Liza's expression changed instantly. Billy seems to have guessed something, and seems to have not guessed anything. The second round went to Billy to attack first. He laid out his cards and started throwing darts. He got the kings and queens without any problems, but Lisa was affected by her brother and only got the aces and sevens, and the corresponding cards were revealed. Billy began to analyze. To win, he had to take out his opponent's royal flush. But from the looks of the cards, both of his opponent's groups could be royal flushes. Billy analyzed that it was the card of hearts that was the royal flush. This is because everyone subconsciously thinks that hearts are bigger than diamonds. Billy's analysis was correct. He easily won his opponent's royal flush. Then he won his opponent's flush. It was time for Liza to attack. She won Billy's flush with a straight flush. It brought back 14 points. But then she made a bad choice. With the straight she only won Billy's pair. This led to a final hand where Billy's straight scored. The score was 58 to 64, and Billy was down by only 6 points. It seemed the scales were tipping in Billy's favor. Round 3. Both players have three chances to throw darts. Liza hit the three biggest cards. But Billy was unlucky, rolling only aces, sevens and eights. Liza looked at Billy's deck and laughed out loud again. It was exactly the same as the first hand. She didn't hesitate to attack with the royal flush. But she didn't expect the attack to be a single card. Liza was shocked. She herself actually won the opponent's weakest card with the biggest card. Then, she prepared to hit Billy's flush with a straight flush. But it turned out to be a pair. Billy knew that Liza's darts were accurate and would definitely hit the biggest card. So he deliberately mixed the big cards with the small ones to trap Liza. Liza was confused. Twice in a row, she used the biggest card to take out the smallest card of her opponent. Next it was time for Billy to attack. He took out Liza's flush with a flush for 14 points. Another flush took out his opponent straight. The final third round was two pairs for Billy. Liza was the smallest pair. The score was tied at 91 to 91. The next two sides had to rely on the draw to decide the size. Billy drew first and it was AK, Liza was confused, her hands were shaking with nervousness. She finally breathed a sigh of relief when she picked it up and saw that it was an ace. The game was lost without a hint of surprise to Billy. He ran fast to the river and saved his good friend Joe. Adam unraveled his plot. He said that Billy lost the game on purpose. In the third round of rounds, Billy's flush could have been set at 5 to 9, 
but he said it at 4 to 8. He could have won with a score of 92. Billy just smiled after hearing it without admitting it. Four years later Cole 3 opened a moving company, started a barbecue business. Adam became a leader. Anthony returned to school. Every test is the first. Liza became the heir to the group, and Charles was an employee here. That day he performed a magic trick for Liza. Oh. Liza then dawned on him, 